everyone, so I am back and today I am doing the tag, um, the Summer Besties tag by Mac Barbie 07 or Bethany. And yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna hop right in. I'm gonna be like cutting in between each answer because I'm gonna be bending down to pick stuff up. So, and I also have the questions like on my phone, so. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite summer lip product? And although I've become recently obsessed with the Pangea lip balms, um, I don't think they have SPF in them from what I can find. So I'm going to have to say my second favorite, which is the EOS lip balm. This flavor is, I believe, in Honeydew Melon. And yeah, these ones have SPF in them. So I think that, as I'm putting it on, it smells so good. And the SPF is so important for summer and I don't know, the sun can age you and you just gotta put SPF everywhere. Your face, your skin, your neck, your body, your lips, everything. So this one. The next item is your favorite summer blush. Now, I have been obsessed, it probably would have been more appropriate to choose that one, but I have been obsessed with Sonia Kashuk's color called Sunset, which is this really like peachy, orangey color, and I really liked it, but I don't know about you guys, sometimes I swing from one extreme to the other, and I just kind of got bored with it. And I saw in a magazine, it was a picture of, I don't remember who, I want to say like Jennifer Goodwin or someone who has kind of similar coloring to me and she had on a really 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 light pink and the makeup artist was showing kind of the pink she had on but the blush was like 30 40 bucks something crazy like that I don't even remember what brand it was and I actually had this blush given to me by um, Tati or Glam Life Guru here on YouTube and I will link her down below um, and it's right here and it is this Physician's Formula Blush in Rosy Glow. And honestly, I really didn't think anything of it. It was like my last product to try from her. But it is so pretty. It's like this creamy, um, light pink. I don't know if you guys can see. Right like that. It's just... <gasps> I thought I dropped the blush, but I only dropped the little brush applicator that came in it. Oh my god, I freaked out. Okay, yeah, so it's just really like... It's really pretty, and I just really like the pink up. Okay, so the next... Ooh, hair mouth. The next question is your favorite nail polish color. Now, my favorite nail polish color for summer, like my colors don't really change much throughout the year. Like I kind of like the same coloring because I feel like what's flattering on me is flattering on me and kind of stays flattering on me depending, especially because I don't tan anymore. So I'm always, I used to go tanning, now I'm just always white. <laughs> So um, I would have chosen OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark, but long story short, I didn't get it. I ended up getting um, Essie's Devil's Advocate, but it is the exact same color as Lincoln Park After Dark. Like literally, it's just a dupe for it. It's exactly the same. So I would have to say that. Okay, the next is your favorite summer liquid product or liquid face product. Now I don't wear liquid foundation and I don't even wear liquid concealer. I wear like a stick cream concealer. So I, and I don't wear tinted moisturizer. So I end up going with a sunscreen. Now. I'm trying to find a paraben-free sunscreen for my face that I like because I think parabens kind of break me out, but I haven't found one yet. Um, so until then, I am using the Dermalogica Super, that's my garage opening, that's what you're hearing, um, the Super Sensitive Face Block. Actually, the other ingredients in it are really good, but there are parabens in it. Um, there's like two different kinds of parabens in it. So, But if you don't care about that, literally the consistency of the sunblock is amazing, and I've tried a few others, um, and I haven't liked them. So, But now I'm on the hunt. So if you know of any really good natural face blocks that don't really like they're not too thick on your face, they're light, but moisturizing, let me know. But otherwise, this is an awesome sunblock. I'm still gonna use it up and then I'll end up buying a new ones. Okay, so the next is your favorite powder, like facial powder, powder, powder product. And I chose the Zuzu Lux Mineral Powder Foundation. And this stuff is actually pretty new to me. I got it at Whole Foods and I'm, guys, I'm obsessed with this stuff. I only wear mineral powder foundation. It is the best stuff. I've ever, ever used. Um, I used to use Jane Airedale, but the color never really matched me properly, and I really liked my MAC Studio Fix because of the coverage, but it would break me out, and it's got talc in it and parabens. This has no talc, which is a common, like, it's commonly known to be a skin irritant for a lot of people. Not everyone, but a lot of people, myself. And there are no parabens. It's natural. It's cheaper than Jane Airedale. I think it's about the same as Studio Fix. It's like, I want to say it's a little less than 30 bucks, like 25 bucks or something like that it's at Whole Foods or you can order online. Just look up Zuzu Makeup, Z-U-Z-U. -Z 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 it's awesome. I am in the color D3 and I love it. I'm obsessed. This product is your favorite hair product and I found this on the hunt to try to find like healthy hair products and it is this Giovanni Deep Repair for Critically Damaged Hair. 
Now I wouldn't, it looks like I haven't used very much, which is crazy to me because I squeeze out huge amounts of this stuff and I've been using it for the last like two weeks. And it's awesome. It's definitely um, brought more thickness to the ends of my hair. It's repaired a lot of my split ends, which I don't know how that's possible because I thought for sure you had to get them trimmed off to get them to be okay. But um, they, see, my hair just seems to be getting a lot healthier. And it smells amazing. And it's like nine bucks from Walmart. Um, obviously, no parabens. So there's no, like nothing in this. It's amazing! Okay, so my next favorite eye product um, may come as no surprise to you. It is just Max Paint Pot in Bare Study. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed. Look at how, how like, I've hit the bottom. Um, once again, trying to find something else. I know, guys, you're all going to be in the comments because I did the paraben video, but I'm trying. I said I'm slowly switching over, but I am. So, yeah, I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's amazing because you can just swipe it on your eye and put on some mascara and you're totally good to go. I love it. It's just a very versatile, beautiful product and I love it. Okay, the next question as I'm like coming up <laughs> is clothing or is accessory. Um, I'm hoping this counts. I picked shoes, but I actually picked two pairs of shoes. Um, they're definitely for the summer. I was going to use my sunglasses I just got, they're Armani Exchange and I got them from TJ Maxx, but I can't find them. So I'm gonna do these two pairs of shoes because I'm in love. The first pair I showed in my birthday haul are these tribal flats. And what I love about them is they're tribal, yes, they have the studs on them, but they also have these rhinestones, which I love it when things are mixed, like kind of um, like edgy and super feminine too. And they just, they're so cute. They're so comfortable. They were like, 15 bucks at Marshall's, so I'm in love. And the next thing, these flip-flops at Old Navy, they were originally selling for about $20. They're really, like, good quality. The sole is really, really rough. Are not rough, like, hard. They're not flimsy. Um, and they were selling for 20 bucks, and then they were on sale for $10. And when I got to the register, they were $4.50. And they're just these really simple um, sandals. And this is actually, this metallic, if you can tell, is actually rose gold. It's really pretty and these giant rhinestones in the center, I love them. So they're very simple and girly, but they're also, um, I did just say that one sentence, simply and girly. They're simple, but they're girly too and they're kind of blinged out in the center. So I really like these. And the last question is favorite clothing item. And I just found these the other day and hands down, I think they're going to be my favorite thing for summer because I don't really like myself in shorts. Um, whatever, it's kind of an insecurity. I like skirts, I like dresses, I don't really like shorts, but I found, and they're not very comfortable to me. They ride up, they're like uncomfortable but I found these and they're actually like a jegging material um in shorts and I think I showed you guys in my outfit of the day the other day but I'm gonna back up and show you anyways they are from Joe's jeans they're stretchy and they were originally like 85 bucks and I got them for 30 at TJ Maxx so I'm gonna back up and show you oh and if you're wondering um both of my tops are also from TJ Maxx and the shorts are as well so as you can see they're cuffed and I like them because they're the kind of shorts that they're not awkwardly long because I don't I don't like them to be really really long, um, and they're not like hoochie short. So I really like them. I think they're just a really appropriate, cute like length for summer. Okay guys, so that is about it. Any of you watching this, you should totally do this tag and put it as a video response if you've already done it or if you do it for this. And yeah, that is about it guys. So I will see you next time and I hope you all have a great day fabulous, amazing, fantastical day.